The city of Pompeii was an ancient Roman city near modern Naples in the Italian region of Campania. Pompeii was mostly destroyed and buried under 13 to 20 feet of ash in the eruption of Mount Vesuvius in 79 AD. The Archaeological Institute of America, or AIA, Knoxville President Charles E. Finney says that one of the most interesting aspects of Pompeii is being able to see life at that moment. Well, Pompeii is interesting because most of archaeology, what you get are just the ruins. Mm -hmm. And things have been cleaned out over the years. With Pompeii, you catch people right in the middle of everything. Right in the middle of eating, right in the middle of their daily job, what have you. All of a sudden, the sky collapsed on them. And you, you have them in snapshots of time. Unfortunately, that snapshot is people being terrified. You find mothers cl you know, clasping their babies. Very sad scenes of people dying. But all of their daily um, implements of living, the things they were doing, are in place, essentially. That, that you know, did not either burn up because of the, the hot ash um, or sort of eroded over time, but so much is still in place. And so you see things exactly as life was then at that moment. Okay. And you just don't see that. McClung Museum presented the 8th Rutledge Archaeology Lecture by Jean-Pierre Bahan of the Collège de France on Tuesday. Dr. Bahan presented an hour-and-a-half lecture of Pompeii's history. Was then an independent city with its own, its own language and with its own administration, directed by elected magistrates, known from inscription. But the Pompeian rebelled against Rome with other Campanian cities in 91 BC because they wanted more civil rights. The war, called the Social War, lasted two years and after initial successes, the Samnites, led by Lucius Cluentius, were besides the besieged in Pompeii and uh, precisely, uh, this is the rampart that was used at this time, and Pompeii fell uh, to the power of the troops of the detector. More information on the history of Pompeii and Dr. Ron can be found at archaeological.org.